Now let's look at our next big O complexity. We're going to look at operations of the stack data structure. With a stack, items are pushed onto and popped off the top of the stack. A stack might also include a peak operation, which looks at the top item without actually removing it. A stack is known as a last-in, first-out data structure. And it's usually implemented with an array and a pointer to the top item. Here's some pseudocode for a stack push operation. As long as we don't exceed the maximum size of the stack, then you can see the top pointer is being incremented and then the new item is placed in the appropriate position of the array. And this is our stack pop operation. An item is copied from the array position given by top and then top is decremented. This is what it looks like. We have a stack with two items. Top is pointing to the second item. When we want to push a new item onto the stack, we increment top and the item is copied into that position. To pop an item from the stack, it's copied from the position given by top and then top is decremented. Notice that we don't necessarily remove the item from the stack. It'll be overwritten next time we push something else onto it. In terms of complexity, it takes a certain amount of time to push an item onto the top of the stack. If we double the amount of data, it takes exactly the same amount of time. Similarly, removing an item from the top of the stack takes a certain amount of time. Removing an item is independent of the amount of data in the stack. Plotting this information onto a chart, you can see we have a nice flat line. No matter how much data there is, the time taken stays the same. The units that we're using for the time are not relevant here. That could be 500 microseconds, it could be 500 minutes, it doesn't really matter. As far as big O complexity is concerned, what matters is that it's always the same. So in terms of complexity, increasing the amount of data makes no difference to the time taken by push or pop. The big O complexity is known as constant. And in big O notation, we write O brackets 1. This chart, therefore, describes constant time complexity.